Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Chad Outdoors. We are back out in the wilderness of ice fishing. We got Shannon Bradford outdoors with us today. What's up? And we are out here at Yuba Reservoir. Uh, we're water catch a monster. Oh yeah, we're gonna catch some big girls today. So water capacity is super low, so we're hoping the concentration of whatever you call that, <laughs> the fish is are all piled up. So. We're out here hoping to catch some pike, muskie, viper, carp, walleye. We'll see what we catch. So, here we go, you guys. It's gonna be us a good day. Mr. Steel, you'll go. All right, time to catch some fish. I got two rods set up. I got my smoke show and true grit. So, my smoke show, Medium light, 37 inch. Got this little loony tail, a little bit of worm. Put the small fish, see if they're finicky, maybe. And then um, my true grit, my 38 medium. Got this bad boy, this is a new BMC finicky stinky. I don't know, we'll see how it does. Tip of a little bit of a, um, a minnow head. So here we go. How deep are you right there? Huh? How deep are you right there? 20, yeah, 20.5. Wow. All right, you guys, we just moved spots and came over by the dam. Is it still running? Yeah. Got something on my tip up. Let's go, Taylor. Come on. Yeah, something's on there. He's turning. Yeah, well, I dude. Oh, get him, get him. <laughs> dude, that is a skinny walleye. Holy oh, crap. That is an eater. That's my biggest walleye. Heck yeah, dude. <laughs> that is the unhealthiest walleye I've ever seen. <laughs> yeah, dude, he'll eat though. That is awesome, bro. Nice Woo! work. Dang <laughs> long, but skinny. Yeah. Hey, we'll take it, though. Good work. We'll take it. Look at that mouth on that thing. Yeah. Thing huge, but the body, though, huge. yeah. They're starving. Yeah, they are starving. <laughs> Good Ooh, work. We'll take her. Good work. Running on the jaw jacker. What you got on? <laughs> the little chub. Still on there, baby. Heck yeah. Let's get it. Can't beat that. That's what I'm talking about. Let's go a little deeper. Hmm, wow, 17 feet still. We are in some low wide open conditions over by that structure. It is 25 feet is what I was at. But everywhere else, kind of in the basin, it's about 15 to 18 feet is what I'm seeing. I don't know, maybe if I get out deeper where Shannon's at back there, then we'll see. A little bit different structure wise. I guess we'll see. You like my setup? 
Huh? You like my setup? Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, Looks good. It's my heavy condition running gunning. <laughs> Seventeen feet right here. I'm gonna add to your uh, wonderful. Thank you. Let me grab my slat. This thing's sick, dude. I love it. my bed. Uh -huh. It was like seven bucks though. Oh really? So I think I got it for a little four pricey. Bucks. All right, next spot. All right, so we've gone probably five hundred yards. <laughs> And just drilling holes, checking the depth. And it's about 17 feet across. It varies between like 16 and 17. Um, which is pretty flat. So we're gonna go back to our original spot that we were at this morning, hoping that maybe there's some fish that have come back there. Um, I guess we'll see. But yeah, so far it's just the one walleye. But we'll take the walleye. It's better than going home empty-handed. The guy that we saw that was here this morning, he said that he'd been here since yesterday at noon. And he left probably about 8.30. And he didn't get a single fish, so. You know, being here for an hour and a half and getting a walleye, I feel pretty good about that, so. three bars on the auger. We're gonna drill some new holes again. She's smooth. Smooth like booter. That's a school fish right there. Come on. Come on, one of you. Oh, that was a school of fish that just hit me. Nothing hit though. Yeah, I've already marked three fish in five minutes of being back at our original spot. Which is crazy because we marked like one fish this morning, so shows you fish move. They like to move. Fish on him. He's checking it out. He's checking it out. Oh, he was looking at it. Dude, there's fish! Huh? Hurry up! There's fish! I haven't had anything hit yet. Oh, drifting. I know. I uh, haven't Marshall? had anything hit yet, but I've got, I've marked two different schools and then I marked one on that one right as I dropped down. How deep is this? I'm um, in 15 still. Okay. So it's super deep drop off, but. Oh, oh, come on. It's coming up for it, it's coming up for it. Hit it, hit it, hit it. Hit it. Give me a little nibble. Come on, a little nibble. They're all on it right now. Tons of them on it. What depth? 
Well, they kind of go up and down, but they yeah. go from the bottom to about eight feet and then back down and such. Well, fishing's slow, so I'm basically taking a nap. Shandon's getting the other tip-up set up. See if we can get ourselves a perchy. Or a musky or pike with the perchy. Probably not, but I always hope. Alright, I'm gonna take my nap. Alright guys, that is a wrap for today's video. We got are walking away with one walleye. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> It's the only bite we had. We marked tons and tons of fish, but that was about it. And we drilled lots of holes. Lots and lots of holes. In lots All of different around. places. <laughs> yeah, it's like this is like our third place, fourth place. And we walked all across the lake drilling holes, so it's a it was a long day of one fish. But you know, we'll come back another time. We're gonna get them tiger musky, pike, carp catfish all the good stuff so and some more wally so thanks for watching go subscribe go hit that subscribe button for shane and bradford outdoors as well hit the like button and we'll see you guys next time on the next video Yippee!